Hey guys, welcome back to All in One Law. This is a quick radiology rat. And today I'm going to talk about if you suspect a splenic trauma, splenic trauma, what are the things you should see on a plain x ray? Okay, so let's start. Signs of splenic rupture on plain x ray. One is very important is obliteration of splenic outline. Obliteration of splenic outline. Very important and this is the best way to diagnose the splenic trauma on x-ray, plain x-ray. Loss of, just google the images guys. I cannot put the images over here because of the copyrights. You just Google the images like obliteration of splenic outlines, you can get it. Loss of source out outline. Okay. Then there's a if there's a frac uh, fracture of what you call lower ribs on left side. Lower ribs on left side. Okay. Then elevation of left hemidiaphragm. Raised elevation of left hemidiaphragm. Okay, and indentation of gastric air bubble. Indentation of gastric air bubble. Okay, guys, so these are the important uh, x ray findings. That's obliteration of splink outline is the best. This is the best, best, best. And loss of source, source outline, lower rib fracture on the left side, mm, increased what you call raised, uh, elevated uh, hemidiaphragm on the left side, and indentation of gastric air bubble. If these things you find, then it's a splenic trauma. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.